I actually teach a class on sustainable operations here at Tepper. And one of the topics we cover is energy. And if I'm a consumer and solar comes into the market, I want to know my bill's not going to go up. I don't want to be paying for someone else's solar panel. The name of our paper is That's Not Fair, Tariff Structures for Electricity Markets for Rooftop Solar. If people are putting solar panels on the roof, they sometimes generate more electricity than they need, and people have the ability typically to sell this power back to the electricity market. Now the problem is if people switch to solar that costs the utility company money. Regulators have to try to ensure that the utility company is solvent, because if the utility company is not solvent, we've got a problem. How does a utility company make up the money? They raise the retail rates. This is a big equity problem because then the people who tend to install solar are wealthier people. And so the wealthy people install solar, get a price break, and they're essentially being subsidized by the people who don't install solar, who often are less affluent. You don't have to pay full retail rate, you can pay a lower rate, and then the people aren't making as much money off of their rooftop solar, which means the solar panel manufacturers, who are private enterprises and aren't regulated, might not be able to make money. And that's what happened in Nevada. If you have a tiered contract that distinguishes between adopters and non-adopters, you can induce the proportion of customers that you want to adopt, and you can guarantee that there won't be cross-subsidization. So it's both moves us in the direction of green energy that we want and what we would call fair.